guys, today, um, well for this blog entry, uh, video entry actually, I'm so used to blogging, sorry. I'm gonna be talking about Maybelline's new color tattoo, the metal versions. Now, if you've been trying the Maybelline color tattoo by iStudio, you would know already that a lot of the colors in that collection, the original base collection, were metallic. So I'm not really sure why they chose to make a separate five mini collection of metallic shades, but um, they're fantastic. So, I mean, they're a fantastic um, range of colors, so that's, that's a good thing. Now, the great thing about them is they are not limited edition. They are part of the permanent brand, but they are a separate name. They are the metal color tattoo. Now, a few notes about uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo sh 24 Shadows, uh, the 24 Hour Shadows, is that they are cream, they do come in little pots, so you do need to have a brush, I like to use a brush like this, as you can tell it's used, sorry, this is an e.l.f. concealer brush. Now, I know this is for concealer, but I find that the way the bristles are, and how thick and dense they are, and the angle at there, uh, which they are, that I'm able to apply it the best with that kind of brush. You can use an eyeshadow brush, you can use whatever makes you feel comfortable, but I prefer that kind of brush. So these shadows are cream, and um, you do have to apply them. It says you can use them with your finger, but I prefer to use them with a brush. They do not have any creasing. They dry, and once they're dry, you can go like this, and nothing will be on your finger. Nothing at all. This is actually Edgy Emerald from the base collection and in the creases here I have Too Cool which is also part of the base collection and I love it. I love the fact that you don't have to use primer with these colors you simply just have to put them on and they stay all day which is very fast and they're blendable, they're creamy but they dry, dry but they aren't drying or flaky on the eye if you can see. Anyway, well, I'm gonna, let me get back to the, the metallic colors. So the first one we ha have here is Inked in Pink, which is number 55. This is the back. It's a very soft pink color. It's actually really beautiful. It's a soft pink color. And when you apply it, so you simply just like that. I'm going to apply it to the back of my hand here. Add a little more. And it looks like that. I don't know if you're able to see that clearly. It's about the color of the wall behind me. It's quite pretty. It's very soft, especially on light skin. I think on, I've seen swatches on darker skin where it actually was a much brighter color, but on light skin it's it's a pretty, it's a paler color. So, anyway, the next color that we have, and these can be built up, so if you want it to be a richer color or a sheer color, you can do that too. So that was number 55, inked in pink. The next one is number 60, Silver Strike. Silver Strike. Now this color, if you can't find it, a darker version of this color would be Audacious Asphalt, which is a very darkened gray silver. But uh, I think actually they would go great together. But, you know, if you're looking for a silver color and you can't find a uh, silver strike, that would be a good choice. So I'm just... I'm going to just paint it on my hand. Pull it again. And then that is silver strike. I think it's a very beautiful color. Especially to start off in your inner crease. You know, maybe blend out, maybe have it up here to lighten, or maybe just on the lid. Overall, it's a good base color, it's a good neutral color to have. The next color is number... Sorry, I thought it was more red. It's number 65, Gold Rush. Now, 
out of the Maybelline color tattoo shades, they've done gold a whole lot of times. They have a gold in their baseline. They had a gold as part of the Fashion Week special limited edition. I think it was gold shimmer or bold gold or something like that. But this, this I think is either their third or fourth gold. I think it's their third. So they, they're big fans of gold. The other day I was wearing a gold and if you look at my video for the review of the Big Pink Box, you can see it on my eyes. And uh, now the difference between that and these is this is much more sparkly. It's much sparkly. More sparkle. And it's, it's more of a yellow based gold. Whereas the other golds were a little bit darker. A little bit more, um, I guess, an older kind of gold look. Whereas this looks like a very bright yellow based gold. So I'm just using this. I'll have all sorts of comparisons on my blog, so you can check that out. So this is gold. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It's very shimmery. And it can be built up. I think this would make a great lid color, maybe blend it out with black. As you can see, it you can keep you can put a base and then just bring it out. Meaning like you can lighten it once you've put it on. Then we have number 70. Which is barely branded. Now if you got the Maybelline color tattoo uh, limited edition in New York, well not New York, but Fashion Week. Uh, yeah, I guess it would be the New York Fashion Week uh, collection. You would have probably picked, you would have probably picked up, um... Bailey Beige, which is just about the same color as this, except for maybe a little pinker. But if you have that color and you can't find Bailey branded, or you know you want to back up for your limited edition, um, I mean for your Bailey Beige, if you want to back up for your Bailey Beige, Bailey branded would be perfect. This is the inside. It's really a soft metallic beige. This would make a great like eye primer, eye base. I put it right here next to the pink. As you can tell, I'm pretty light, and it comes off rather, rather light on me, almost, almost flesh toned. But it's it's a very it's it's one of the more neutral colors. Like pink, I mean, I find this collection to be pretty neutral, aside from the silver and the gold and the, the next color that I'm going to show you it's it's a pretty neutral collection you know it's good for spring you know it's they're not dark colors they're easily blended colors colors that you can you know they're not for smoky eye except for the next color I'm about to mention they're simply just to brighten up your eye you know give you a nice bright kind of sparkly metallic look you know maybe with a bold lip so now the last color kind of stands out among the uh, four I've showed you already, which is 75 electric blue. It's a very dark color. It's it's a gorgeous navy. It's a metallic navy. Now they've also done a lot of dark blues, especially in their last their jewel toned collection that they had. Um, I think blue on by was a dark blue, but um, this is much darker. This is, I actually think, the darkest color that they've offered to date. So, there you go. It's a nice navy. And I think that this color would go good with any of the other colors in the collection. And I'm going to swipe it on top so you can see. Okay. So, as you can tell, it's a much darker color. An electric blue mixed with this gold would be beautiful. Mixed with this silver, mixed with this pink. Even mixed with the the branded, barely branded beige, the barely branded color that's kind of beige. <laughs> Sorry for that. Would look fantastic together. I think that this color would also make a perfect. I'm sorry, I have a little bit of allergies. This color would make a perfect smoky eye if you wanted to, and even just to have to add to your collection. I wish you could see it in 
better lighting because it does have a bit of sheen like it does go from a nice navy blue to a little bit darker even when applied so there you have it there's five in the collection and again that is from what's from I guess I just had it. Oh, it starts with Inked in Pink, number 55. 60 is Silver Strike. 65 is Gold Rush. 70 is Barely Branded, which is that beige color. And last but not least is Electric Blue. Again, I just want to say a point out about their formulas. It's creamy. Paints on, dries, dry, flake free, crease free. Um, sometimes they're a little hard to take off depending on how much you've built them up. So have a good um, eye makeup remover handy. But you don't have to worry about these, you know, coming off your face middle of the day, whether you're sweating, whether it's raining, you know, any of those issues you don't have to worry about. And they're pretty good. You don't have to use primer, you just put it on your eyelid and mascara liner that's it and they blend effortlessly together but once they're dry they're set so they are kind of like a tattoo for the eye do i recommend them absolutely i think everyone should check them out whether it's the new metallic colors or even just the baseline and uh you can find them at walmart target i got mine at target.com um you can get yours at that site too or you can go to your local walgreens Dwayne reed um Right in, and I guess any other um, drugstore or supermarket that sells cosmetics near you would probably have it. Now, it is a new product, so I don't know how many stores are carrying it yet. I know the stores by me are not carrying it yet, but uh, I hope you're able to find it, and I hope you love it, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you.